what up what up what up y'all so it is your girl linda lynn i'm here with my son eli my daughter alina we are on this little footbridge on our way to barnes and nobles so y'all the scenery is just so gorgeous i'm gonna have to take a picture over here i really am it's so pretty um y'all i don't have a car but if I have the strength in my body to get up and walk and go somewhere, I'm going to do just that. You hear me? I used to take the RTA to get everywhere I had to go when um I resided, in a, when I resided back at home. Because right now I'm separated from my husband. I used to take the RTA everywhere I had to go. But baby, the God I serve, he sits high and he looks low, baby. And... Watch out, Eli. And so right now I'm trucking to Barnes & Noble with my two kids. The weather nice, it's not too cold, it's not too hot, it's just right. And overall, I'm just so thankful that I have strength in my body. My kids are, are, are in good health, all of that. I'm just so happy. And Barnes & Noble's like right over there. Right over there behind that tree. Those trees, Barnes and Noble's right up. So, what I'm about to do is cut through this um, parking lot. Stay close to me, Eli. Come here. And yeah, we're about to get on up in this Barnes and Noble. I'm going to get myself a little coffee. Probably buy the kids some more books. I've been buying a lot of books. So, yeah, I got my front facing camera on. So, if I'm looking all over the place, not really looking directly at you, it's nothing personal, baby. It's just me. But yeah, I'm on my way to Barnes and Noble. I know I was, I told y'all I was gonna talk to y'all when I got up in there. But when we get up in there, we gonna, uh, we gonna be trying to pay attention to Mr. E and Alina because my son be really excited when he get up in the store. So can't put too much of my focus into vlogging, but we gonna see what we do. You heard me. And that's just how we gonna rock on out, baby. We gonna rock all the way on out, you heard me. So let's go get on up in there see what we can find today and um enjoy ourselves for about 30 minutes 30 45 minutes and head on back to the place of residence Baby, in a matter of time, I went from this to this. That's crazy. Hey, but um, huh? God gonna um, God gonna come through. Like he coming through now. You heard me. From this to that. Yeah, I'm speaking over myself with positive vibes. You heard me. It's gonna be okay. That's what I'm telling myself. This is week three of being separated. And I can't believe that by the end of November, it'll be a month. It will definitely be a month. And I'm 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 really much so holding on to hope for that month. Because um November so far has been lovely and I can't complain. I really, really can't. So we're just out sitting down in a random area enjoying a random quiet area it's not too far from our residence just enjoying the breeze enjoying this nice weather y'all it's really nice out here i'm about to nurse alina before we get inside um but i really gotta let my son just play i really want for him to just play you know feel good get an opportunity to just run around and do whatever he want to do because y'all when I left I didn't know what I was going to be able to do I didn't know how I was going to make it with the kids because I wasn't in a financial position to just up and leave but my the way my faith was activated what that uh, lady was saying on uh Steve Harvey on the uh family feud holy spirit activate holy spirit activate when the holy spirit activated baby I got up 
and I found the strength. And I found the strength to just go. And I would I got my front camera on. So if I'm not looking at y'all the right way, I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal, baby. Yeah, baby. When the Holy Spirit had activated, I said, let me get my tail on 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 up and on up and out of here. You know, I cried. I cried some more ugly tears. Oh, a nasty cry. But I got up and I left. And I ain't know exactly how I was gonna make it. It's been now three weeks, but I've been making it. Lord, I've been making it, Lord. Woo! Mm. A beautiful, beautiful struggle of me. Don't mess with no mud now. Watch yourself, they got them uh, bugs on the ground. Look, they got bugs, get up. I really just been taking a lot of time out to just reflect. When I'm not reflecting, I'm, I'm praying. When I'm not praying, I'm literally up here taking care of it, taking care of my kids. When I'm not doing that, which is, you know, and they taking a nap and I'm watching over them, making sure they sleeping good. I'm trying to take care of me. So today I'm probably just going, I had bought my little nail polish with me, so I might paint my little toes and do my little nails. I don't know just something to spruce my little self up i've been keeping up with my hair throughout postpartum surprisingly because um i know it's hard you know it's, it's it's hard to not some people think it's easy to neglect yourself some people think it's hard to neglect yourself for me i feel like it it, it, it was becoming a little bit easy to start neglecting myself but i just couldn't i had to hold on to faith i had to keep on doing what i had to do you know I had to let that Holy Spirit activate. Holy Spirit activate. I had to do that. You heard me? And once that Holy Spirit activated within me, unstoppable. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, we're going to go in. We're going to head on inside in a little bit. But let me finish let my little son, my son play. And uh, let Alina get some more fresh up. So, yeah, I'm just airing my nerves out with the kids. That's what the old folks be saying in the country. Let me air my nerves out. So, yeah, I'm just airing my nerves out. We just sitting out here enjoying um, the the weather. It feels really nice. We definitely will be coming out just to sit down and enjoy one another company. That's that's basically what we're going to be doing. Because when you got a toddler, baby, you got to get up and get out. And um, that's what I'm doing for sure, for sure. Now, more than, all, more, more than I did, you know. So, Miss Alina right here. Y'all, I just can't believe things been made it to this, made it here. Only a few weeks before Christmas. Not even a month away from Christmas. And I'm going through all of this. But it's all going to work out for the good. Just one year ago, I was putting up the Christmas tree. On the, on like, you know, this week I put my Christmas tree up and all of that before Thanksgiving, baby. And I was just like, you know... I have to find another home for my kids, for me and my kids for Christmas. But I'm going to do it and do I'm going to make it do what it do. All trust the plus. I'm going to make it do what it do. You hear me? I have no other options. And everything that I'm going through is really molding me into an incredible, incredible and more resilient woman. And that's just the beauty of it. I'm really loving it. I'm embracing it. And I'm so happy about the fact that I just really, I'm just stepping into my truth. Even though it's so, it, it was so hard to do at one point, but where I'm at right now, baby, this peace of mind I have, I would not trade it for the world. I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't do it. So, yes, it just feels so good, y'all. Peace of mind, baby. I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. You just gotta be checking and make sure ain't nobody in there. So, y'all, what's up? It's the next day. Um, things have been going to be going. Every day I find myself having the motivation to get out of bed, having the motivation to smile. Um, I find myself steady giving myself grace each day because 
I still feel a little bit blindsided. Matter of fact, I do feel blindsided by everything that happened just a few weeks ago. And baby, don't get no more realer than the spit up <laughs> from Alina. But um, things have been literally, I can say, for me, emotionally turning around. And I really do give it all to God. I give it all to God and I feel so much lighter and I feel so much relieved and I feel like no matter how much I felt like my situation was going to be so traumatizing for me to leave, I did the best thing. Cause I was just like, no, I won't be able to go. No, I won't be able to go. This was right before my son's birthday. So I was in a lot of denial in October. And while this is being recorded, it is November um, 2021. So I'm just like, let's keep on keeping on. And most importantly, baby, I want to literally get what the future has for me going. If I dwell on the past and if I do not move forward, you know, if I was to dwell on the past and if I was not to move forward, I wouldn't be in this place of peace right now. And I do forgive my spouse for all of it. What's happening now, what has happened and what will happen. I forgive him for it all. I don't harvest any bitterness in my heart. And even for you, while you're watching this, don't harvest bitterness in your heart for anybody. Your heart deserves to literally do what it needs to do to keep you alive and to keep you going, not to shelter bitterness, hatred, jealousy, envy, any of those nasty traits, any of those. I know it takes time to learn how to let go and heal. I'm still healing. You know, I'm not up here trying to be um, telling y'all it's, it's going to literally be groundbreaking, but this healing that I'm undergoing right now, it's getting my mind right. It's getting my spirit right for the better. So yeah, y'all, we had a great day overall. Our trip to Barnes and Noble went well, and we'll probably be going back later on this week. I'm not sure off of the weekend. But um, I'm just trying to stay in good health because y'all, if I'm not in good health, baby, I just be feeling like bleh. But I still got, I still get out the bed in the morning and I still do what I need to do. But um, y'all, I have a smile on. This ain't for play play. This ain't for fakery. I know some people say fake it till you make it. This ain't no faking it till you're making it. This is a real genuine smile and I just pray to keep on so I could be able to continuously move on for the rest of this year and also for next year. So my little mama, she wants some more boy melt. So she about to get a little bit more boy melt and we're about to go sit on, sit on down and read some books. And um, we'll be back pretty, pretty soon. So yeah, Mr. E doing good too. He is currently watching a show on a tablet so yeah i hope y'all have a blessed one thank you so much for watching this vlog until the next one until the next one do, 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 do. i just want to say this as i close don't ever put nothing past anybody don't ever do because sometimes your expectations of people will leave you disappointed have no expectations for other people and have expectations for yourself.